Um, in maximum likelihood estimation, um, in general, uh, unlike the OLS regression, uh, we can use matrix algebra to solve for the result. Algebraic solutions of log likelihood okay, with regard to beta are rarely possible with nonlinear models, with nonlinear models. So a numerical method usually are required. So how to uh, get the numerical results of a solution? Well, usually we begin with the initial guess, theta zero. Uh, so basically we get a beta zero here. We just make a, a, a guess, okay? You know, we can begin with zero or begin with, you know, five, a reasonable uh, value. And we call that star value or initial value. And then we attempt to improve theta zero by adding a vector zeta zero, a zeta zero, okay? People might wanna ask, what is the value of zero, zeta zero? Um, well, just bear with me. Um, so once we get zeta zero, uh, and once we get theta one, uh, we can add another zeta, Let's, let's say, let's call zeta one added to, uh, excuse me, uh, zeta one added to, uh, zeta one added to uh, theta one, then we get a, a theta two, theta two, right? Yeah, the problem is to find a zeta that works. So what kind of zeta should we choose? Well, it turns out um, zeta is a product of gradient that is first partial derivative of log likelihood with respect to beta and the Hessian matrix. Okay. Well, here, if we want to find a beta that maximizes the log likelihood and thus the likelihood function, okay, the first partial of likelihood with, with respect to beta should be zero, okay? Should be zero. So if the gradient, the calculated gradient from the last round, okay? Because I just said zeta is a function of gradient in Haitian. If this zeta, which is a function of uh, gradient um, is close to zero, okay? It's close to zero. Then we get a convergence. That is, if zeta is close to zero, then then theta n1 and theta n, they should be very close. But when zeta is zero, it is when what? The gradient is very close to zero. So when the gradient is co close to zero, okay? When the gradient is close to zero, then zeta is zero. Then we get convergence. That is theta n and theta n plus one is very close or exactly the same. Okay, so how to calculate zeta n? Well, it is a function, as I said, it is a function of gradient and uh, Haitian. So what is a gradient? Gradient is, we take a first partial derivative of log likelihood with respect to beta. And here actually is theta, right? Mm -hmm. At this point, when theta is equal to theta n, okay? So we get zeta n. Well, part of zeta n, because that's just a gradient. That's just a gradient. I want to multiply the gradient by Hessian matrix by the Hessian matrix, usually denoted by H, okay? Well, regardless, you know, we don't have to pay a whole lot of attention to all the details. But here is when uh, theta gets to the value, okay, or gets very close to the value, or 
is the value that maximizes the log likelihood, then zeta n is going to be very close to zero. And that means zeta n and zeta n plus one converge to each other. And we find the answer. We find the answer. So if you think this in terms of how you might approach downhill skiing, right? So it's kind of descent method, and you probably have a better sense of uh, what is like how to find the minimum or maximum by uh, skiing or by mountain climbing. Uh, so in general, the numerical method can estimate the asymptotic covariance matrix, uh, the variance of theta hat. And here, you know, it's not theta, it's beta, right? Slope needed for hypothesis testing. The size of the variance is inversely related to the second derivative. The smaller the second derivative, the larger the variance. When the second derivative is smaller, the likelihood function is flatter. If the likelihood equation is that very flat, flat uh, the variance will be large. Now, this should match your intuition. That is, the flatter the likelihood function, and the harder it will be to find a maximum of this function, and the less confidence you have in the estimate. So, like here, right? So, if the log likelihood function is like that, and here's beta, and uh, you're somewhere here, let's say you're here, you go either way, right? You go either way, it'll be pretty hard for you to find, you know, really where is the top of the mountain as opposed to this one. It'll be much clearer, right? So let's say if you're here, you, you can go this way, you can go that way, right? For uh, the descent method or for the gradient method, right? You go up and you go down, you can see huge difference. But for a flatter, much flatter, likelihood function, it's pretty hard to find answers here. So uh, in general, uh, the variance of theta hat is equal to the information uh, matrix. Uh, that is the negative of the ex expectation of the Haitian matrix. So what, what's in there is the Haitian matrix. Uh, it's the second derivative and then inverse, okay? So it is negative expected second partial derivative, okay? Then inverse, take an inverse. Or to be more precise, is the inverse of the negative expected uh, uh, partial second derivative of log likelihood with respect to parameters. 